tools alone are not enough. Controllers are proud of their tools. They have a broad set of resources at their disposal. Each of these tools is designed to make controlling more efficient and more productive. Yet in practice, we find that many of the tools have been implemented only symbolically. They have improved neither the way in which decisions are made, nor the decisions themselves. Why is this? It is rarely due to misuse by controllers. They are usually very familiar with their tools, yet they do not always make sure that managers are able to cope with the wide variety of similar tools available. Under what conditions do tools work best? Controllers must ensure that their managers are able or willing to use the tools mm -hmm. correctly. If a manager does not really understand a tool, he will not use it. It is up to controllers to guide their managers in the use of the tools. If a manager can manipulate a tool in his favor, he is likely to succumb to temptation and exploit the situation. In the first case, there is no payback on investment in the tool, while in the second case, the company may even incur additional costs. Decision-making or coordination tools Controllers must decide between tools for decision-making and tools for coordination. Decision-making tools may be complex and require specialist expertise. It can, however, be counterproductive to use complex decision-making tools for coordination. Controllers have to ensure that everyone involved understands how to use coordination tools properly. Linking instruments to control processes. In order to work effectively, a tool must be integrated into the control system. This means, for instance, that a balanced scorecard is implemented from budgeting all the way through to variance analysis. Without a doubt, good controlling is dependent on good tools. Nevertheless, tools cannot mm -hmm. perform miracles. They are only useful if they succeed in guiding the behavior and decisions of managers. It is the controller's job to separate the suitable tools from the unsuitable ones. If they always pick the right tool for the task, they will make themselves indispensable to the company.